What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Dave. This is Quarter Flips. If you have not already, please subscribe to this channel. Just get that out of the way right off the bat. Today, I'm going to talk about a few things. I'm going to do what is hopefully the last report on the stolen car. Just a couple little things to maybe tie it all in a bow and be done with it. I'm going to talk about DVDs, the DVDs that I've been selling in the first part of this year that I've been really focusing on. Talk about just what the money looks like on those. How many are selling? How much money do you really make on DVDs? And then because I asked if people still wanted to see my sales and got a response that said, yes, please show the sales. I think that's what you need to be doing on the channel. I'm gonna go through all the sales that I haven't shown in the last week, including the stuff that I'm gonna pack up and ship today. So first off, let's talk about the car. When I got the car back, the books that I had said were in the back seat were still there. They'd kind of been sorted through, um, but they seem to all still be there. Here's a bunch of the ones that I'm keeping. There's actually about two more piles about this big that I'm gonna be listing for sale and the rest all went to half price books. We'll get to there in just one second. So I've been through all the books and I've been through the car and I've cleaned everything up and I discovered something in the car that I think explains the rest of the story on the car. And here's what it is. This shaved key was under the passenger seat underneath some junk. So here's what I think happened. This key was used to start my car. I actually couldn't, I didn't really give it a hard try, but there's nothing else that this key would be. This isn't a key someone left in my car from before. There was no key under my seat before. And if you doubt whether or not this is the key that was used to start my car, let me just show you the actual key to my car. This one is essentially the same key, just with smaller edges, rounded down. It's been worn. I have found these keys before. In the 90s, after a car prowl on my car, I found an entire set of keys, all different makes and models of cars. What I think happened, and the reason why there was still a half tank of gas and still all of the books and everything still in my car, is I think the thief stopped the car, took the key out, dropped it, it hit the ground, and bounced under the seat, and the thief could not find the key. Couldn't start the car again. Neighbors got video of the car thief. And in the video, the police said they couldn't tell who it was, so they couldn't see anything, and that's fine, I don't, whatever. But they said at the end, you can see the thief rummaging around in the car, doing something, and then seeming to realize that a neighbor was watching and running away. I think they'd gotten out and were rummaging around in the car, trying to find the key that they lost. I'm going with that, I think that's what happened. And hopefully that'll be the last thing I ever have to say about the car, let's move on. Half price books. I took the remaining books, two boxes of them, to Half Price Books. So here's what that looked like. Hey, arriving here at Half Price Books. Try to sell these two boxes of books. Let's see what happens. They said no problem. There's a few people ahead of me. So it's gonna take a little while to get my order priced and processed. They said they would just give me a call when they were ready. So I've got to go repark in front of the building and uh, shop around in their store for however long it takes for them to price my books. Now if I'm lucky, I'll find some kind of good deal in there while I'm waiting. That really hasn't been how it's gone at Half Price Books for a while. They seem pretty good, pretty on the ball with the pricing, so. We'll see what happens. Too much, but it's cool as hell.
Oh, no doing this? Hello. Uh, David, Nokia, $39.99. I'll take it. I mean, I didn't expect to hear that, but $39.99 for those books. Arch Enemy box set for $30. Bucks. All right, so I did something a little different today. They gave me 30 whatever. I filmed the receipt earlier, 39 or something like that for those books, which is cool. Then as I was walking out, I saw that they had this Arch Enemy box set LP in the case. I thought I'd take a look at it. It looked really good. It looked like it was in really good shape. Some of it was not opened. Anyway, we'll, we'll get in the car and we'll take a look at it. You know what, we'll look at it when we get home. I'm going to uh, put this in the back where it'll be safe out of the sun and I don't want to pull out all the parts of this in the car. So get home, take a look at what we got. All right, let's take a look at this incredible box set. 30 bucks, I'll be able to get that sticker off pretty easily. Really, really nice. I don't know if you can see, it's a uh, gold foil, not embossed, but gold foil stamped arch enemy and will to power with this great artwork. Nice condition, black on the inside. And there is a gatefold version of the album. Black vinyl, 180 gram. I'm not gonna pull it all out. Booklet on the inside. That's part of it. Then there's a poster. Folds out, I don't know how big, but it's large poster. An enemy legions patch. What do they call this? Earl Boros? I don't know how to pronounce it, but this is like a turntable mat. Arch Enemy. Okay. This is a sealed still EP. Vinyl EP. Total old school punk style EP. That's in there with this clip so that you can pull it out. And then the Will to Power CD and some postcards. And I think that's it. Now, I'm not 100%. think there might have been, there may be another CD that came with this set that's not here, but I, I'm not sure. I've got to look it up. But this feels complete to me. It does feel like it's all here. It's really, really nice. $30 that was just trade-in of the, you know, $30 plus tax of the $39.99 that I got for those books. Felt like a really, really nice way to step that up right off the bat. So I'll be putting this on Discogs. Ah, no, there is one more CD. It's in with the vinyl. So it's pretty, it's complete. As near as I can tell, this thing is complete. I'll be putting this on Discogs. Right now, there is one available in the United States for $50 plus $9 shipping. I think I'd be happy to sell this for 50 bucks. It's probably in the same condition as this one. And that one still has some shrink wrap on it, they said, but the shrink wrap is coming off the bottom and there is a little bit of wear to the bottom of the box. This, this box has a little bit of wear also. It's not terrible. I don't know if you can see it, but it's there. I'll probably put this up for 50 bucks and I'm sure I can do better than the $9 shipping they have up to ship there. So I don't know how many people are looking for this, but it has sold uh, from the $40 to the $90 range, I believe. I think I'm gonna do okay. I mean, at the very least, I'll get my money back on it, but I, I, we'll do better than that. So that's that one. I'll have that listed up on Discogs a little later tonight. DVDs. Let's talk about DVDs. Since around the beginning of March, I've been focusing on getting and selling DVDs. And I've talked about it a lot on the channel. I've shown a lot of the ones I've bought and I've shown a lot of the ones that I've sold, but it's always kind of, you know, I sold this one for $15.99, shipping included. It doesn't really tell you the whole picture on DVDs. So I decided I would go and figure out the whole picture on DVDs, and here's what I found. I have sold 126 DVD sales since the beginning of March. Almost all of those were for individual DVDs, but in a couple of cases, it was for a set of two or three DVDs bundled together. Only a couple cases, and it doesn't really make that much of a difference in the end with the numbers. So here's the deal, 126 sales, that came out to $1,528.74.
after shipping. Now the way I figure shipping is, I send a DVD by media mail, that's $2.89. It goes in an envelope with some cardboard and a little bit of tape. I'm just rounding it and calling it three bucks to ship. So if I sell a DVD for $9.99, I actually get $6.99. $24.99, $21.99, it all makes sense, right? So then after that, we have to take eBay fees and we have to take PayPal into account. So eBay fees on the 126 was $183.45 and then PayPal fees was $82.13. Now, right at the end I was on managed payments. I've switched over to managed payments through eBay so I won't have PayPal fees anymore, but I'll have essentially equivalent eBay fees. They say it's gonna be about the same or you might save a little. So I might save a little, which means if anything, the number I'm about to show you would mean my per DVD price that I got was a little bit higher, but probably just by a few cents, so it doesn't matter. Or even like one cent, who cares? This isn't an exact thing, it's just like a ballpark figure, so I can kinda understand how I'm doing. So after I remove out all shipping, all fees, the total that came in for those 126 DVDs is $1,263.16, which comes out to $10.03 per DVD. So what that means is everyone that sold for $6.99 or $7.99, where I just eked out just a little bit of profit, goes into the same mix as everyone that I sold for $39.99 or $49.99, where I got a bunch of profit, and that just all comes out just over 10 bucks. I think that's pretty good. When I'm out shopping and I'm buying DVDs for anywhere from a dollar to three dollar in a thrift store, or 20, 30 cents if I buy them in a big lot from somebody who's selling on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace or garage sales where they can be any price. I mean, I've, I definitely have run into 25 cent DVDs and I've run into 50 cent DVDs and sometimes people want like five bucks. And you know what? If I see the right DVD for five bucks, I'm gonna buy it because I know that my average sale is 10. That'd be doubling your money. But I'm not gonna buy a DVD for five bucks that I know is gonna sell for $7.99 because uh, the shipping will just eat it up and then I go negative on that and it'll change my numbers down the wrong way. Now, five bucks for a DVD is gonna get me one that's gonna sell for 20 or more. Yeah, overall I'm feeling pretty good about it. I think I could keep going, keep listing, keep finding DVDs, they don't seem to be running out. Every time I go out looking for them, I come home with DVDs. And honestly, other than the one big buy that I showed you, I haven't really done a hardcore DVD buying day yet. That will come. Right now I'm still focusing mostly on listing. So, some things are changing. I'm getting a little bit more space. The business is going to be expanding and I'm gonna have more place to put product. So I'll be getting to do some more buying soon. And that'll be fun. We'll go over that in the channel. I'm hoping that I can get out to some garage sales, some actual garage sales, if they would start having garage sales up here in the Northwest, because I keep seeing all these awesome resale channels going all around the South and Midwest, going to garage sales and finding very, very cool stuff. So hopefully I'm gonna be jumping in, dipping my feet in that pool a little bit very soon. Let's get to the sales. Okay. So I'm gonna put up here, essentially all the sales that I've made in the last week, seven or eight days since the last time I did a video where I really showed sales that I didn't get a chance to film. So here are those. This is taking a long time. Okay, if you were interested, you could stop the video and take a look at individual price. I also filmed some of the ones that were going out before the last batch of stuff that I packed up and got off to the post office in the last couple days, so here are those. So the PS3 video game, Twisted Metal. This is the limited edition version. PS3, that went for $12.99 plus shipping. Miniatures, I sold this Citadel Warhammer Fantasy, I'm never gonna be able to pronounce this name, Quelequek Madspell, is a Chaos Sorcerer, that went for $5.99. Likewise, I sold this Citadel Warhammer, this is for Epic 40K, this is a Bombard Tank, Imperial Bombard Tank, this went for $2.99. I am basically out of miniatures, I am down to the dregs, I've gotta get myself some more miniatures to sell. CDs. Sold this Thrones Day Late and a Dollar Short CD for $4.99. Pet Shop Boys, New York City Boys CD, $4.99. And High on Fire, Blessed Black Wings, that's a CD plus DVD, that went for $8.99. Vinyl, 
got this 10 inch record from the vocal few in a video a, a month ago or something like that two months ago now i don't know my first day going out for the half off sales for the uh st vincent de paul thrift stores i found a vocal few lp that had this 10 inch inside as if it were a bonus record inside but it was a totally separate thing anyway i sold this one for 24.99 plus shipping i think these stickers have have autographs on them from the band which is probably what helped that sell for that price moving units 12 inch by moving units 9.99 akimbo elephantine elephantine i don't know how to pronounce it lp 9.99 for that one this one is really, really nice. It's a band called Kokomo. The record's called Monochrome Noise Level. It's two 12 inches. And it's a mail order version. Of, I think mail order or, or record release. Regardless, it's got these pieces of yarn with this. What do they, they call that? Like when you'd seal with an old seal on wax. That's not wax. It's some kind of rubber. It's hard to see. See if I can get it closer so you can check it out. It's very cool. I'm going to have to take extra care in shipping this to make sure that that is padded and so that makes it there, you know, intact. $39.99 for that one. And DVDs. Let's do this kind of quick because there's a lot of them, of course. Murder My Sweet. That went for $7.99. The Hitcher. After I watched it, that went for $8.99. Exodus. That went for $9.99. Northanger Abbey. I hope I pronounced that right. $9.99. Another Earth. $12.99. Rental exclusive. $12.99. Jane Eyre, $12.99. Notorious. Alfred Hitchcock's Notorious, $12.99. Continuum, Season 1, $12.99. Career Opportunities, bought it last Saturday for a buck and a half, $19.99. And CKY, bought it a little more than a week ago. This is a CKY Trilogy, two discs, four uh, programs. Bought that for two bucks a little more than a week ago, sold it for $24.99. One last thing sold today that I'm taking to the post office and I don't want to forget about it. I sold this Hemp's Courting Tragedy and Disaster picture disc for $49.99. And why did this one sell for that much? Well, it's because it's number 420. And then I'm going to pack up some stuff today. I sold this pack of two Revlon liquid liners, mahogany cover, $3.99 plus shipping. DVDs, of course. I got The Last Dawn 2. That went for $7.99. War of the Roses, $8.99. And One Good Cop, $10.99. These DVDs are not driving my prices up, but they go into the total. Here's a CD from Cryptic Slaughter, Money Talks. This went for $15.99 plus shipping on Discogs. The Cure, Let's Go to Bed, 12 inch. This one's in a little bit rough shape, but it's not terrible by any means. $8.99 plus shipping. Stray Cats, self-titled first LP. This went for $9.99 on Discogs. And finally for this week, The Smiths. Ask 12 inch clear vinyl. This one went for $49.99 plus shipping. It's a very nice record. And so that's it. If all goes well, I won't have anything more to tell you about my car, but I will have more to tell you about really cool buys and really awesome sales going forward. Uh, I know I'm going to have some more expansion of the business, some more things that I have brought on. I've bought a bunch of new equipment lately. Maybe, I don't know if you've noticed that the light looks a little different, but I've got a real ring light now, which is making me pretty happy. I hope. I still got to kind of figure out how to use it, but I'm much happier than the weird shadows being cast from two different sides from some makeshift lights that I had. And I've got more space. So we'll be going over all of that stuff in the coming weeks. If you haven't already, I think I said this at the beginning, but if you haven't already, please subscribe and also like. That would be awesome if you would. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you and I'll see you soon.